Gog and Magog, a biblical interpretation. Based on the first covenant book of Ezekiel and the new covenant book of Revelation. Gog represents a coalition of northern nations, and Magog, the territories near the Black Sea. These nations stretch from the far northern Caucasus Mountains across to North Africa, and down to the near northern Kurds, parts of Iraq and the formerly Assyrian lands. In the coming Messianic Age, when all believing Jews will have been gathered back to Israel, they will dwell there securely, with neither military nor fortifications. Their ancient King David will be resurrected, and he will reign over their land. They will prosper abundantly from agriculture, husbandry and fair trade. In the latter part of the Messianic Age, after some 1,000 years, the coalition of Gog will scheme to invade Israel and to rob its wealth and its herds. Gog will assemble a great armed horde and will advance as a storm. At that time, the God of the Jews, Yahweh, who reigns over all the earth, will vindicate himself in the sight of all the nations. He will rain fire upon Magog, and he will turn the Gog armies against each other. There will be such a slaughter, that it will take some seven months to clean up and bury the carnage and Jewish peasants will heat their homes by burning weapons for some seven years. Every previous age of history has ended with humans revolting against Yahweh, the Most High God, and so the Messianic Age will see a revolt by the Gog Coalition. Thereafter, the Creator God will make new the sky and the earth, and the heavenly city of Zion will descend onto the earth, from which the redeemed of all ages will reign over all the creation, forever.